Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Claudia, good evening. Well, before we start the class, I'm just checking um, that some of you are saying in the WhatsApp group that you're having problems with uh, some of exercises, correct? Good evening. So, um, what, what is the situation you have, Claudia? Um, todo lo que pongo me lo pone malo, no sé ya ni, ni qué contestar. <laughs> Have you tried, has tratado como de cambiar a veces capital letters, you know, yes. after coma, periods. Can you, can you do me a favor after the class? Can you please try to send me like a screenshot of the situation so I can try to verify what's going on? Because um, I see that a lot of people are having the same situation so we can try to fix that, okay? Please. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, thank you so much, guys, for always being on time. That's really nice of you because it shows your responsibility. That's really cool. Okay, guys, so it is time for us to start the class. So um, for today's class, um, before we start the main topic for today, I wanna ask you some questions regarding to the topic we saw yesterday. Let me see, Patricia Veronica, hello? Hello. Can you tell me what is the possessive adjective for the personal pronoun, she? Hair. Hair. Very good. Uh, Rodrigo Chicas. Hello. Um, <laughs> when uh, do we have any similarities when it comes to the pronunciation of it and your? Is there any similarities with any other thing? What can you tell me about that? It's uh, is other other thing mm -hmm. because it is I don't know it's personal pronouns true mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it is for for a thing of any or animal and your is for a person okay okay, okay very good. Estela Lara. Sí. What is uh, the possessive adjective for I, you, and he? I? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What? His. Say, say it again, please. My? Mm -hmm. Ro. His. Okay, for every one of you here, every one of you, uh, let me see, we're just going to wait for these people. Okay, so every one of you, uh, I need you to give me an example, an example of a sentence right now, and a sentence using the possessive adjectives. Okay, can you do that, please? House is My house is big. Very good. Thank you very much. What about you, Lisette? 
My car is new. My car is new. Very good. Who else? Only His Stella. I'm sorry, say that again. His name is Lucas. His name is Lucas. Very good. Thank you so much. What about you, Rufino? Can you give me an example? Mom, I bring bring my bring my watch. Say repeat it again, please. I, mom, mom, can I can can you bring my can you bring my watch? Okay, it's good. Mm -hmm. You're using my, that is a possessive adjective as well. Thank you very much. Claudia, Iraeta, what can you tell me? Um, my, my house is, is white. My house is white. Adriana. Her name is Debbie. Her name is Debbie. Thank you very much. Claudia Lisette. My daughter is beautiful. My daughter is beautiful. Thank you very much. Let me see Carlos Dubon. My car is black. My car is black. Okay. A partir de ahora, los que le pregunten ya no pueden utilizar my. Porque todos han estado usando my in here. So now... We have more. We have your, we have his, we have its. So the other ones, let me see. Catherine, play this. I'm here. Okay, can you give me an example of one sentence using the possessive adjective? You cannot use my and you cannot use hair. Mm. You are reading your book. You are reading your book. Okay, that's good. Let me see Cecilia Melgar. Uh, yes, teacher. Um, um, your voice uh, is very good. Your voice is very good. Okay, Maria Veronica. Your brother is tall. Your brother is tall. Okay, thank you very much. Rubia Franco. Yes. Your book is new. Your book is new. Okay. From now, the other ones that I'm going to ask you an example, you cannot use your. Para los demás, ¿verdad? Ya no pueden usar your. Solo tenemos his, its, Her. and their. My okay. favorite color is red. Say that again. Our, our favorite color is red. Our favorite color is red. Very good. Let me see Stephanie Figueroa. His dog is cute. His dog is cute. Brenda Villeda. This is his shirt. This is his shirt. Okay, very good. And Jenny Sanchez. My sister has has got a a, a dog. It's it's dog. It's very very beautiful. Mm, okay, it's like 50%, but thank you so much for trying. Alva Saavedra. Um, his eyes are beautiful. His eyes are beautiful. Okay, and Jacqueline Pineda. Okay, our pets are funny. 
Our pets are funny. Norma. Norma Marbelli, you there? Okay, so I think she's not there. Catherine, Catherine Villa Mariona. Um, she has finished her work. She has finished, finished her work. Okay, Andrea. Andrea Renderos. Notebook is color red. Say it again. His notebook is color red. His notebook is color red. Is that correct, guys? Yes. His notebook is color red. Do you think that is correct? Is red color? Mm. Okay. Color red or red color? Red, red color. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And the last one, but not least one, Maria Luz de Nieto. I can see that you are there already. So we're asking for examples using the possessive adjectives. You cannot use my, you cannot use your, you cannot use her, you cannot use his. Mm. Okay, good night. <clears throat> my name is... No, you Maria, cannot, Maria? You cannot no. use my. No puedo ah, utilizar my. Yo. Ah, no my, ni yo. Ni your, ni his, nor her. Okay. <clears throat> there, there are friends. Mm, say it again. Um, you, mm -hmm. you are special. You are special. Is that special. correct, guys? You are special. Yeah. Guys, is it correct? You are special. Um, are you? Are you? Are you sure, guys? Remember that we are practicing possessive no, adjectives. Está utilizando el verbo to be. Exactly. Oh, okay, cierto. Mm -hmm. es, um... It's okay, no It's okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Okay, so, um, well, pretty much everything I think, I think that every one of you participated and thank you so much for that. I see that some of you are still having some issues when it comes to, um, to the possessive adjectives, but I do really understand that it's part of the learning process. I understand that um, we have to study and then we can you know, improve, but it's really nice that you have given me your best examples possible. Thank you so much for that. So uh, for today's class, guys, today we're going to talk about WH questions. I'm pretty sure that all of you know about it, yeah? Today we're going to know how to use them, when do we use them, and obviously we are going to have some exercises, okay? So um, we're going to start right now. Just let me share this one with you. Just give me a moment. Okay. Uh, my bad. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with the WH questions. As I said, most of you already know what, are, what the WH questions are, right? We know the who, what, when, which, where, how, why. Let me ask you, from all the ones that we have here, is there anyone that we are missing? Are we missing any WH question? Or all of them are 
in the screen. Guys, hello, are you understanding what I'm saying? Uh, not the chair, repeat again. I don't, I don't understand. Okay. Repeat, please. Okay. So here we have some of the WH questions. But my question for you is, is there anyone that is still missing on the ones that we have here? Still missing anyone or all of the all of the ones that you can see here are the only ones WH questions that we have in English. Yeah, no me contestaste. I'm sorry, what? Anywhere. Any uh mm -hmm. no. ¿Alguien sabe cuál es la que falta? ¿Falta una o no falta ninguna? Uh, falta... Eso no sé cómo, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Pero es... ¿De quién? Exactly. That's the one we're missing. And we say that whose. Whose. Okay? So that's the one that is missing in all of the ones that we have here in this one. Okay, so we are going to go one by one to try to discover and try to check how we can use them, in which situations we can use them, and so we can finally understand when to use it or when not to use it. So we're going to start by some like um, some instructions or something very important that you need to always keep in your mind. The WH questions cannot or never be answered but a yes or no. Why? Because when we use the WH questions, guys, we're open. The question is going to be an open question, right? So for example, if I ask you, what's your name? You are not going to say, yes, my name is, right? That doesn't make sense, okay? So this is something that you have to always keep in mind. WH questions will never ever be answered with a yes or no. Are we clear on that? Yes. Okay, so let's move on. We're going to start with who. Uh, we all know that we uh, use the WH question who when we refer to a person, when we want to know the name of a person or when we want to know who are we talking about or something like that? We have an example right there. Who is he? He is my teacher. So as you can see here, okay. As you can see here, this person is asking or wants to know the name or wants to know who this person is. So we're going to always use who when we refer or when we, when we want to know about someone's name, okay? So here we have some examples and I will need some help with this. Any volunteer? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. For the first two questions, please. Who, who are you? Mm -hmm. um, who is he? Who is she? Okay, very good. Uh, something very important, guys, when we are asking questions in English, intonation is a very uh, important part. Why? Because even in Spanish, when you're asking someone a question, uh, you make, we make a little intonation. For example, if you ask someone, eh, ¿Cómo te llamas? That's in Spanish. ¿Cómo te llamas? As you can see, or, or you can listen to that, we make a little intonation to make clear to the other person that we're asking a question. But the same happens in English. Intonation, for example, you, you cannot say, who, who are you? Who are you in this way? No, you can say, who are you? You listen? There's a clear difference. Who are you? 
With that intonation, we make a difference. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, who are you? That's going to make a difference when you're making a question. Okay, thank you very much. Alejandra, would you like to help me with the next two, please? Who is your best friend? Mm -hmm. Who is calling? Thank you very much. Very good intonation. That's good intonation. Very good. Adriana, help me with the next two, please. Uh, who wants some ice cream? Mm -hmm. Or who is calling? No, the next one, this one right here. Uh, who asked the question? Okay, so once again, guys, who wants some ice cream? Who asked the question, right? Intonation. Uh, let me see, I, I saw someone else raise your hand. Okay, any other volunteer to read the last two? I'm sorry. Who is faster? Okay. Say the Who next is one. Faster? Mm -hmm. The next one. Who is the most beautiful? Who is most beautiful? Okay. Who is faster? Who is the most beautiful? Okay. So here we have some examples. These questions that we have right here, guys, are the most common questions that we use with the WH question, who. These ones it's are better. the most common ones. Yes. Uh, it means that the first word is stronger. Oh, you mean you mean you mean the stress, el estrés de la palabra como stress. Uh -huh. Who are you? Who are you? No, you can, we cannot say who are you. We say who are you? Who, who are, are you? you? Uh -huh. Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Or some people, some Americans, uh, depending on the area they live, because as you know, in United States, they have different accents depending on the area they live. Some people from Pennsylvania or some people from New York, they have some differences in, uh, in their accent. For example, you can say, who are you? Or someone else can say, who are you? Yes, so those intonations are going to be like um, like the ones that you need to follow, okay? So, but always it's necessary to make a little intonation to make the other person may, make it clear that you're asking a question, okay? So um, let's move on. Here we have what? What is the most common one that everyone uses every single day? This WH question, everyone uses it. We use it to, to say, what's your name? What's that? And things like that. This is the most common one. But when we use the WH question one, we refer or we, um, we can say that we're one to, we want to know about names of objects, ideas, or action of something that is happening at the moment. So we have an example right here. This person is asking, what is that? Because we're referring to this thing that we know it's a pencil. So because we want to know the name of this object, we use the WH question, what? What's, what is that? or we can contract and we can say, what's that? What is that? Or what's that? Okay, so here we have some common examples, examples that everyone in the English language is going to use this question. These are the most common ones. Um, I will need, um, let me see, Claudia Lisette, can you help me reading the first two? What is, what is, what is it? Mm -hmm. What is, what that? Okay, here, um, let me see. Can someone in this number two, 
there's a mistake here. En este número dos, eh, hay un error aquí. Eh, nos falta, what's missing over there? The verb be, right? Nos falta el verbo to be. So we can say, what is this? Or what is that? Okay? We're still missing the verb be here, in this part right here. Okay? So in the first one, yes, we say, what is it? What is it? What is this? What is that? Thank you very much, Claudia. Let me see, Maria Veronica, can you help me with the next two? What's that is it? Mm -hmm. the next what one? is What is the what the life? Okay, what day is it? What day is it? What is the weather like? What is the weather like? ¿Cómo es el clima? What, what is the weather like? ¿Cómo es el clima? That's the meaning of that. Okay, thank you very much, Maria Veronica. Let me see. Let me see, Mr. Luis. Can you help me with the next two, please? Uh, what do you want to eat? Mm -hmm. The next one. What are you doing? Thank you very much. What do you want to eat and what are you doing? Catherine, play this. The next two, please. Um, what time is it? Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. So I'm going to ask you this right now. When I ask the question, what do you do? What am I referring to? Your occupation. Your occupation. Occupation or profession. Thank you very much. Norma Marbelli, can you help me reading the last one? What does your father do? What does your father do? Thank you very much. Okay, so these are, as I said before, the most common example uh, questions that we use with what in our daily basis. So, uh, for example, if you want to ask about the weather, if you want to know about what are you going to eat, what are you doing, the time, your profession, your job, your occupation, there we have some examples that we can use every single day to ask anyone outside. So let's move on, move on to when. We're going to use when, guys, when we want to know, um, we can name a time. For example, uh, we have there, when does class start? It starts at three o'clock. In our case, if I ask you, let me see, Andrea Renderos, if I ask you the question, in our case, obviously, if I ask you, what, uh, when does class start? I start my class every day at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. or I'm 8 o'clock, okay? Thank okay. you very much. So, here we have, once again, the most common examples that we can use when it comes to the WH question, when. So, Claudia Iraeta, I will need your help with the first two, please. When is your birthday? Mm -hmm. When is the field trip? When is the field trip? Very good. Brenda Villeda, the next two. Uh, when when does the movie start mm -hmm. um when does the train arrive okay oh, when does the movie start when does the train arrive very good thank you so much let me see mm. jenny sanchez can you help me with the next two <clears throat> When do you do your homework? Mm -hmm. When are you free? When are you free? Thank you very much. And let me see Melida Dimas. 
Help me with the next two, please. Mm. When, where? Oh, I think that. Where it, work? Okay. Say it again, please. Um, I think she's frozen. I don't know. She's frozen. Probably he, her internet is not working. Okay. Yeah, let me see. Well, Melida, you're frozen, so we cannot listen to what you're saying. But thank you very much. So, um, Stephanie Figueroa, would you mind helping me reading those two? Which one, teacher? This one right here. This one. These two. Okay. okay. When were you born and when is their anniversary? When were you born and when is their anniversary? Okay. Very good. And the last one, Jacqueline Pineda. Can you help me reading the last one, please? When does the class finish? Que es la que muchas veces hacen, ¿verdad? ¿Qué horas termina la clase? Ya, ya va a terminar. Now it's going to finish at nine. All right. So um, here, guys, as you can see, these ones are the most common ones that we have with the WH question when. Remember, every single time that we're using when is because we are referring to the time, because we want to know the time when this situation is going to happen, when the time, specifically dates and all those things related to the time. Okay. I'm going, I'm moving like a little bit fast, guys, because I know the WH questions are not difficult to understand. And I'm pretty sure that most of you already know how to use them. Most of you already know what they refer to. So I'm just moving kind of fast because I know that is something not difficult, not difficult to understand. It's really easy to do it. Or is any one of you or does any one of you have any question so far? So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. So, guys, please, if you have questions, ask the questions. Hilda, you, do you have any question? Yes. My question is, what is pronunciation? Do, those, those. Uh, let me see. Do you mean this? D-O-E-S? Yes. D-O-E-S. Yes. Okay. This is das. 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 Uh-huh. That's the pronunciation, does. When does the movie start? When does the train arrive? Okay. Okay, thank you so okay. much. Okay, you're welcome. Is there any other question? No? Are we clear so we can move forward? I have a question about vocabulary. What okay, is good. field? Field trip, viaje de campo. When we say, when is the field trip? Cuando es el viaje de campo? Field means campo and trip, viaje. Mm -hmm. All right. No questions? No more questions? All right. So silence says more than a thousand words. Okay. So let's move on. Okay. Here we have where. Where we're going to use it when we refer and when we want to know about a name of a place or when we're talking about a specific location. Um, for example, we have in the picture, as you can see, we have these books right here. And this person is asking, where are my books? And she's saying, they're on the desk. What is he asking right here? He's asking about a location of his books, okay? so. As the other ones before, here we have some common examples that we have as well with the WH question where. So I will need, let me see. Let me see someone that has not. Alba Saavedra, go ahead, help me with the first two. Where is my pencil cast? Uh-huh. 
case, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Where are my glasses? Where is my pencil case? Where are my glasses? Thank you very much. Patricia, Veronica, go ahead and help me with the next two. Where is the post office? Where are you from? Where is the post office? Where are you from? Okay, thank you very much. Claudia Lisette, go ahead, help me with the next two. Where is he from? Where is she from? Mm -hmm. Where are they from? Okay, very good. And let me see. Rodrigo Chicas, go ahead and help me with the next two. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Adriana, do you want to participate? The next one. Yeah, the last one, please. Um, where is Canada on, on the map? Okay, thank you very much. So as you can see, guys, Normally, WH questions, we use them all the time, all the time, because if you're making a small conversation, for example, if you're uh, at the hospital and all of a sudden you see someone is next sitting next to you and you want to have a conversation with that person, what is the first question that you are going to ask to someone that you are meeting at the first time? What is the question? What's your name? What's your name? That's the first question. Or some people ask, how are you, right? Those are the first questions that you ask when you're meeting someone at the very first time. So can I move on? Or, yeah, is, there, or is there any other question with these ones that we have right here? Estaba pasando el pan por ahí, verdad? Okay. So if there's no questions, let's move on. Let's see what we have next. The next one we have why. This one is very easy to use it because when we, when we ask why, because we want to know a reason, we want to know a purpose, or we want to know what happened, right? For example, um, we have these, the ABC right here, and this person is asking, why are you so happy? Because I love English class. I'm pretty sure, guys, that all of you know, que ya todos saben, when someone asks you the question, why? Your answer will start with the word because. We all know that, right? Right. Right, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. It's yes. very important because una vez escuché que alguien hizo una pregunta como, because are you so happy? Doesn't make sense, right? So we have to know that we, with the WH question, why, we say, por qué? And when it comes to the answer, we use because. Every single time that someone asks you a question, why, your answer will always have to be because this and this and that, or this and this and that. I don't know, something like that. So here we have some common examples once again. I would like Rufino to help me reading the first two. Why are you sad? Why are why? you sad? Why are you crying? Okay. Why are you sad? Por qué está triste, Rufino? Why are you crying? Okay. Uh, Lisette, would you like to participate? Uh, why are you love, lofty? Uh-huh. Why are you late? Okay. Why are you laughing? Laughing. Laughing. La yeah, with the letter F with the sound of the letter F. Why are you laughing? ¿Por qué te estás riendo? Why are you late? Yeah, why are you late? Thank you very much. So let's see, uh, Maria Luz de Nieto. Okay, go ahead. The next two questions. Why was Chris not at 
school yesterday. Mm -hmm. Why are you running? Why are you running? Very good. Luis Enrique, go ahead. Help me with the next two, please. Uh, why do you... Why do we need to study English? This one? Why do you think he did that? He did that. Okay, we're still missing this one. Norma Marbelli, can you help me reading this one right here? Why do you people exercise? Why do people... Why do... No, there, just, that's the only one. Thank you very much. Okay. Why do people exercise? Okay. So is there any question regarding to these questions? If there's no questions, I'm going to move on because the time is running. We don't even feel one hour. Okay. And when I do that, teacher, and what do people exercise or what do you, do you people? No, no podemos decir do you porque ya estamos utilizando people. Entonces ya estamos diciendo ¿Por qué las personas se ejercitan? Why do people exercise? Okay. Si no tuviéramos people ahí, yo podría decir, why do you exercise? Refiriendo a ustedes o a tú, right? Uh, because we have people, we cannot use a, a, a personal pronoun. Okay. Teacher. Yes. A question. Um, ¿Por qué en algunas ocasiones se dice English study? English study. Mm. No, 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 no. No, I have never seen that, honestly. Nunca he visto que diga English study. Because if we, we try to, we, if we try to say that, um, grammatically, won't make sense. Well, Grammaticalmente. Well, no, no tiene sentido. So we cannot say English study. We, we will always have to say study English. It's according to the grammar, we cannot say that. En, en lo de Duolingo. Oh, oh it, I'm, I'm not going to go deeper to, to some apps, but some apps, remember that algunas aplicaciones, recuérdense que no están como no son 100% verídicas, right? They, they are helpful, mm. see, ¿sí? ayudan. That's a fact. They help you. But sometimes when it comes to grammar, they are not 100% okay. Never English study. Say that again. So, so your question is, tu pregunta es si nunca vamos a decir English study. Yes. No, we will always have to say study English. Because mm. if you say it in the, in the opposite way, it wouldn't make sense. No tendría sentido. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero ahí sí es cierto. Yeah, as, yeah, as I was telling you, como, como les decía, algunas aplicaciones cuando es, son, ayudan, pero gramaticalmente hay veces no están en lo correcto. Sí, hay veces okay. gramaticalmente cambia. Okay. Okay. So we have which. Um, in this one, guys, we are going to use which when we have two things, when we have two options. For example, as you can see here, we have two, uh, two ice creams. Yeah, we have uh, the yellow one and the red one. So because we have two options, this person is asking, which one do you want? ¿Cuál quieres? But we are only going to use, únicamente vamos a utilizar which, when we have two or more options, see? ¿sí? Cuando tenemos más de una opción. So you can give a choice. Tú puedes elegir whether you want one or whether you want number two or number three and so on and so on, right? So keep that in mind because sometimes we get confused between which and what because they're kind of similar. But remember, you are only going to use which when you have more than two options. So you can decide whether number one or number two, okay? So here we have some examples as well. I would like to listen to, let me see. 
Hilda, go ahead, Hilda, and help me with this, the first two. The first is, which one do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Which teacher do you like the most? Okay, which one do you prefer? Which teacher do you like the most? Thank you very much. Carlos Dubon, help me with the next two. Which of my books would you like to borrow? Mm -hmm. And this one? Which one is specific? Okay, thank you. Which of my books would you like to borrow? Which one is it? Thank you very much. And Catherine Villamariona, the last two, please. Which why is it to deliver it? Which mm -hmm. restaurant shall we go to? Which way is it to the library? Which restaurant shall we go to? Okay, is there any question with some of the words that we have right here? Or is it clear? Is that clear, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, All right. Teacher. Very good. So we go to this one, guys, that is Who's when we're talking about possession, ownership, when we're talking about to who someone belongs to, a quien pertenece a algo. Every single time that you want to know who is the owner of that, you're going to ask or you are going to use the WH question, who's. For example, we have whose shirt is on the floor. Aquí tenemos la camisa, mire. Está tirada. La camisa de quién está en el piso. Whose shirt is on the floor? John's shirt is on the floor. John's shirt. La camisa de Juan está en el piso. Yes, we're, we're going to always use that one when we want to know about possession. Algo muy importante, something very important, guys, is that when we use the WH question, whose, siempre después de ella, va a ir un noun. For example, whose car, el carro de quién, whose door, la puerta de quién, whose house, whose book, whose cell phone, whose pencil, anything. When we want to know about possession of someone of something, we're going to always use whose. So we have here another one. We can say whose pen is on the desk. That is my pen on the desk. Yeah. So here we can see some examples. Whose shoe is this? Whose shoes? are this, whose glasses are those, whose book is this, whose wallet is this, whose motorbike is that, whose shoes are this, whose car is parked over there, okay? So as you can see, we're always asking someone's ownership or the position of something. So when we ask the question whose, it's because we want to know who is the owner of that thing that we are referring to. Is it clear, guys? Yes, teacher. I can only listen to, solo escucho dos yes de 30 personas que hay. What about the yes, other ones? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. So this one, guys, how, even though, aunque no empieza con una WH as the other ones, how it's always count, it's always taken into consideration and it's also part of the WH questions, even though it doesn't start with the WH, but it, it's counted as part of the WH questions. So 
as you can see there, how we can use it in very different ways, how it's very complex. So right now we're just gonna see that how it's just to ask about the way something is done, condition and degree of something. Here we have some example, but in the next slide, I will try to uh, explain you like more detail so you can see how we can use how in a very different ways like, like classifications. For example, if we're talking about condition right here, we can say, um, how was your vacation? It was great. So here is what I was telling you. Aquí está lo que les estaba diciendo. We can use, podemos utilizar how plus an adjective, or we can use how plus an adverb. And with that, we are going to be saying very different things. For example, si yo hago la, si yo uno, la WH question, how, más el adjetivo far, si yo uno esas dos, significan una sola cosa. They mean just one thing. If I say how far, me estoy refiriendo a distancia, distance, I'm talking about distance. So if I say how far, I'm saying que tan lejos, how far. So we have the example right here that says, how far is Pattaya from Bangkok? Que tan lejos está Pattaya from Bangkok? So cuando las ponemos juntas, when we put them together, se unen a un solo significado. How far? Distance. What about how long? When I'm talking of how long, I'm talking about length. Estoy hablando de tiempo o espacio. See, for example, how long will it take? Cuánto le tomará? Cuánto tiempo? How long? How long will it take? Okay. When I put together the word how plus many, it's because I want to know about quantity of a countable noun. And when I say how many, cuánto, right? Cuántos, cuántos carros, how many cars are there? Cuántos carros hay, hay. Another one, when I put together how much, the word how plus much, I also want to know about quantity, but referring to uncountable nouns. Example, we have here, how much money do you have? Cuánto dinero tienes? See, countable and non-countable. We're going to see that later on or I'm sure that probably some of you already know this information. So when we put together, once again, how plus the word all, when we put them together, we're talking about age. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? And the last one, la última acá, how come? Esta es una manera informal de decir cómo es posible, yeah? How come I cannot or I can't see I can see her. ¿Cómo es posible que no puedo verla? How come I can see her? But this is informal, guys. This is very informal. So you can probably, alguna vez posiblemente la vean en movies or probably someone um, or any video in Facebook or something like that. But remember, how come it's going to always be in a very informal way. So with all this information, con toda la información, that I gave you right now. Is there any question, guys? No, teacher, thank you. Okay, so if there's no questions, here it comes the practice. We still have eight minutes, so we're going to be working in this and the rest of the eight minutes that we have. So you already know what to do, guys. You can take a screenshot, you can take a picture, you can take whatever, so you can keep working on that, okay? You let me know so I can move to the next one. Okay, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, so we're just going to do these two because of the time. 
Uh, solo vamos a hacer esas dos debido al tiempo. So the other ones, uh, I will send you the, the presentation after the class. Y en los demás, ustedes van a tener que trabajar. So you can send, it's going to be a homework, okay? So we're going to do that tomorrow. Very good. So just let me go and try to create the groups. All right, so everyone, please join your groups. What happened with you guys? Were you not able to connect with your groups or what's going on? Carlos, Stella, what's going on? Hello? Pare, pare, parece, parece the order, only order. El verbo, creo que hay que colocarle el verbo to be, que no lo lleva. En el caso uno sería, how are you go to school? I think so. Okay, guys, le, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you in this part. Les voy a ayudar en esta due to the time. Right? So, as you can see here, it says clue, pista, questions, and simple present. In simple present, solo le agregamos do or das. That's oh. the only thing that you're going to do, okay? Okay. So, Thank you, teacher. All right. So, you can start working right now. Okay. Me parece bien. Entonces, tú. Eh, no sé si, si nos dividimos o sea, una una cada uno. ¿Cómo vas a la escuela así así como está? Ah, así suena. ¿Cómo Ajá. vas a la escuela? Y también este where he work. Um, ¿Cuál es su trabajo? Ajá, exacto. El número tres, ¿quién lo, lo haría? When class in. Okay. No sería when in class, no. When in class. When in class. When in class. When. Ok, chicas. Let me tell you. El number. Quizás no se han fijado, right? But it says, ahí dice pista, questions in simple present. Due to the time, debido al tiempo, les voy a ayudar, ¿ok? In simple present, para las preguntas, solo agregamos do or does. Eso es todo. How do you go to school? La primera. No le vamos a agregar nada más que do or does, depending on the personal pronoun. Oh. Okay? Thank you. Do or does. Do or does. Mm -hmm. How do you? Uh, ¿Qué uh, haces tú? Se refiere a la confesión. Uh, 
Yo creo que es así. What are your father do? Yes, yes. No. Uh, number five. No. No. What is your father do? It's not. What is your father? Because. I know it's the <laughs> It's not like that because, as you can see, it says clue. This is a pista. Questions in simple present. Because of the uh -huh. time, I'm going to help you. Okay. So. <laughs> So pues the, sí. the only thing that you can do that you're going to do with this question is just to add do or does. For example, how do you go to school? See? Uh, so do no, or no, does? No, yes. What does your father do? Excellent. Uh, like that. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. oh. Like that. No, yes. What does your father do? This meeting is being recorded. Uh, but the teacher chose uh, another chart. Yes. I, I, I didn't understand if we need to practice in, in that one, or only we must to uh, practice in this chart. I don't remember if he... Uh, Say that. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, what was your question, Luis? How you you show us another chart, a second one? Yeah, a second my, one. My question is: is if, 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 if we can practice in in that one? In in that or, case, or only, or only in this chart. No, in that case, if you do not complete the two exercises today, that is going to be a homework. Va a ser una tarea. Uh, so okay. I, will, I will send you the presentation after the class through the WhatsApp group, and you can work in all the exercises, and you will have to present that tomorrow as a homework. Okay, I, I could understand that part. Thank okay. you. Okay. Cecilia Melgar, do you have any question? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, my team, uh, we we have uh, dudas. ¿Cómo se dice dudas? Doubts. Doubts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. About the exercise. The uh, first one. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Number three and four. Number three and four. Okay. Uh, sí, ¿cómo era ahí, teacher? When does class end? Number three. And number four, what does your father do? Ah, ok, thank you. Sí, All entonces right. sí, vamos bien, vamos bien, gracias. All right, so guys, I'm pretty sure that probably because of the time, you didn't complete the exercises. But as I told you uh, some minutes ago, I will send you the presentation through the WhatsApp group. So you will have to work on all the exercises for tomorrow. That is going to be your homework, okay? And please, okay, teacher. I told you okay. yesterday to work on the exercises and only Rufino was the only one that sent the exercises today to the group. So for tomorrow, you have until 7.30 to send the exercises to the WhatsApp group. You can send okay. photos, you can um, send me directly the homework or you can share it through the WhatsApp group, okay? It's okay. up to you. But please okay. try, try to make the homework because that's part of your, uh, of your practice, okay? So if there's no more questions, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for attending to the class, for being always on time and for always participating. Thank you very much. So see you tomorrow at the same time. 
by the same channel, okay? Have a okay. good night. See you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye -bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.